Spatchcock turkey is a for sure successful way to prepare and cook your turkey. More surface area to ensure you get that perfectly crispy finish on the skin, a quicker cooking time, and a more evenly cooked turkey all around. You've got to try this method. And I will show you just how easy it is to make today on the Stay at Home Chef. This won't look like your traditional Thanksgiving turkey, but I promise you won't cook it any other way after you give it a try for yourself. To spatchcock our turkey, we're gonna take this large round shaped turkey and squish it flat. And to do that, using a clean surface, lay the bird breast side down with the legs facing towards you. What we're looking for is the spine and we're gonna cut down both sides of it starting at this bottom that's also called the parson's nose. So using a good pair of kitchen shears or a large serrated knife, you're gonna basically crunch your way down both sides of the spine until it's completely removed. I've even had friends use tin snips. The larger the bird, the bigger the bone, so just be careful doing this. It might make you sweat a little bit. It can be a workout. Once you've got that spine removed, you can throw it away or save it for making stock. Run your hand along the inside of that cavity to make sure there aren't any little broken bones. Before we flip the bird over, we're gonna take a knife and run it on the underside of the breastbone. It's gonna help us crack it a little easier. Put your hands on the inside of that and give it a little crack to help that bone break. Then flip the bird over so the breasts are right side up. And rotate out the leg quarters. You can see it's already getting a little bit flatter, but we want it as flat as possible. So we're gonna press on that breastbone even more. Once you've got it as flat as possible and you're happy with it, make sure to give your hands a good wash. And then let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the bird on an elevated rack that's on a baking sheet, breast side up. Tuck those wings underneath the breast. Takes a little bit of work, but that's to ensure that they won't burn. Now this bird, it's big. I recommend doing the spatchcock turkey method on something that's about 14 pounds or smaller. To season this bird, you can really do it however you desire. A simple and versatile seasoning that works really great with poultry is easy to whip up, and to do that, Combine two teaspoons of kosher salt with two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, and two teaspoons of garlic powder, and then two teaspoons of onion powder. Whisk that together until it's well blended. Then in another bowl, we have 10 tablespoons of room temperature butter. We're going to mix in half of that dry seasoning to that, and then mix this until it's evenly combined with the butter. Working your hand underneath the skin, release the skin to create a place to add the seasoned butter. Then rub that seasoned butter underneath the skin and be generous. Make sure you work that butter even into the leg quarters. Smooth it out. This added fat sure helps the turkey stay moist and gets the flavor right into the meat. Using a drizzle of olive oil on the exterior of the turkey, rub it in and season the turkey with the remaining dry seasoning. Now that we've got it perfectly prepped, we're gonna head over to the oven. We're gonna roast this in a 400 degree oven until the internal temperature of the bird reaches 155 degrees in the breast, and the dark meat can be up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a meat thermometer is your insurance policy to know that your bird is not overcooked or undercooked. There will be a carryover on that internal temperature, so cooking it to 155 will give you the juiciest results. This will take anywhere from two to three hours, which is less time than the traditional turkey, but that is based on the size of your turkey. When it is done cooking, let it rest for 10 to 20 minutes before carving. And it's so much easier to carve a spatchcock turkey because all the hard work is already done. And then you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out stayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.